good morning everybody today is July 16th it is going to be a beautiful morning here in Northern Virginia and for those of you that don't know you're riding with Nova slow speed yeah. right now I am heading to the Nova Community College in Manassas it's at 6901 Sudley Road for an event some of you may have heard of it's called the Ride to Stave Lives. It's a free motorcycle assessment. They make sure to let you know it's an assessment, not a class. It's a free motorcycle assessment put on by the Virginia State Police. I've taken the class uh, about a year ago, maybe a little longer in the good city of Richmond, Virginia. I've never taken the one in Manassas. The class is actually full and I'm not actually signed up for it, but usually only about half of the people that sign up for the class even show up, so there's a good chance that there will be room for me. It's a pretty good class for a free one live in Northern Virginia and you haven't taken the class you're missing out the one down in Richmond had a lot of slow speed maneuvering which a lot of people need help with it had a really good portion on emergency braking which I feel and I think most other people feel is one of the most important aspects of uh, skills practice because when you find yourself in a bad situation when you need to slow down extremely fast you do not want to grab that front brake the only way to give you the best chance of success in emergency braking situation is to practice 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 it You have to build that muscle memory up so that when you get caught by surprise, you don't just uh, panic and pull the crap out of that front brake lever. Okay, so here we have the motor officer doing a demonstration of the little general exercise, also known as the offset cone. also happens to be one of my favorite exercises it's great practice for doing left and right u-turns as well as making the transition between the left and the right turns this is also one of the most versatile exercises being that it can be used for people of any skill level depending on how tight or how far apart you space the cones. is the most important thing that's going to save your life on the road. You guys have been riding, know that. Um, who does not have any line brakes? Alright, so if you get into a rear skin, rear brake, don't run off of it. Hold it, hold it, because if you start sliding, Off fast. Um, 
what it'll feel like is the first thing is it'll feel like you're on glass so it's real smooth then it's going to be input you didn't put into it then you're going to have a change of horizon if you don't come up like immediately you're going to go down anti brakes are different they're you can lock them up and you're not going to go down pretty much but they can always go out on you too so pay attention to your brakes and usually you get a, a blinking uh, signal that says it's not working or another thing I saw is, and this is what we teach, so try if you can, don't use two fingers on your clutches and brakes. Because if you go down, this hits the ground, the lever hits you, it's going to break your fingers or cut them off. Uh, we've had that happen where it broke two people, some people's two fingers. I think it's three. It's just breaking with one finger. But maximum, I mean, your strength is here, not here. Obviously, if you're racing, it might be some different stuff because you're throttling and braking at the same time. But none of us, I won't say none of us aren't that good, but some of us aren't that good. So, uh, what we're gonna do, how fast do you wanna go? 20? Uh, 20, 20 to 25, no more than 25. But in Try to get in the second gear. As soon as you start braking, which is the first two cones, try to come to a stop as fast as you can without you know, skidding. And put your left hand. That's the only system. That's the only system. There you go. But again, if you guys jumped in late, if you get anything out of this, the braking, that's going to save your yeah, life on the highway. made it to the best part. Go out and practice on your own parking lots or more cone camps you guys go to. And we do it on Sunday. Yeah, quick stop. But throw that braking in. But, uh, You're doing it at, what, 60, 70 miles an hour? And I mean, we, you know, we started out with four people, so we buzzed through everything pretty fast. And then, you know, you guys did a good job jumping in, so I appreciate it. Do uh, you guys have anything? No, I just appreciate you guys coming out and, oh, yeah. and doing it. It goes by fast, but you know, usually if you have 20 people, it'll take up more time. So, are are there typically other components to this? Swerve or <laughs> yeah, just yeah. cone yeah. courses like driving okay. slowly. Yeah, we were just brought on a limited amount of cones out this okay. time, so we were just sort of rotating. I was going to say, so, so what we are ready now? I have to go home to my wife. Yeah, what? Ninety degree, ninety degree from, from a stop. Yeah. From a stop. I wanted to thank you guys for doing this. Yeah. Is some people I don't know maybe they might be intimidated or something to come out and take part in something like this. Do you guys yeah. have anything to say about something like that? We just appreciate y'all actually attempting to apply what we're telling you. Yeah. Right. Like everybody got better at breaking just like in that, the seven that, yeah. seven times or however many times they went down. Everybody got better at breaking. Yeah, the input we gave you, you applied it and your breaking got better like real fast. Like it's just it makes it more enjoyable for us having to come out here and teach it, you know, and instruct it kind of thing. Because uh -huh. if you're listening to what we're telling you and not just I know everything, they're wrong. I got it. <laughs> just between them two alone is damn near 50 years of riding experience professional. But we're not trying to correct stuff that I mean, you might be the best like Chuck here, he did the thing and is went to neutral and he never dropped his foot because he they would have balanced the bike. So that's experience. But you know, sometimes what we're telling you, it might still might not work. It might still be the best hitter in baseball ever. You don't want to mess with him. So it's just trying things if you know something new. But uh, we're not trying to change anything unless you know it's really dangerous. If it's real bad, then pull you off the